good evening and welcome to Beach Class. So this is our um, curriculum evening video, welcome sort of meet the teacher type thing that we normally do face to face but we found the videos work quite well last year and it gave everyone a chance to view them at their leisure so we're going to do it this way. Um, so behind me is Mr Wilkinson, he's doing the filming today. Uh, we're just going to do a quick tour of the classroom, some of the things we need and hopefully answer any questions that you might have. One of the other things I'd like to talk about is homework. So the children should already know what the expectations are with regards to homework um, this term. One of the main ones is diagnostic maths. So this is this screen. Now you can see there, the bar, that, the bar for this week is looking a little bit empty there. It's only just over halfway and it is Wednesday. So we should have um, some busy children this evening making sure they get that done. If there are any problems logging into anything like diagnostic maths or spelling shed, please let us know. Um, the other main bit of homework I think is really, really, really important, um, and they can do it on bits of it on the computer, is learning times tables. Cannot sort of understate how hugely important having those table number facts ready to recall will really help their, ability, um, their ability to improve in maths. So if you don't know their tables, all the 12 times 12 yet, I really would recommend daily practice for just, just a little bit. We all say little and often to help the memory, so five minutes a day, but they really, really must try and crack those time tables. It will help them massively. Massive, massive emphasis this year on reading for pleasure and reading, for thing, reading things that they enjoy. So that can be books, it can be novels, it can be information texts, it can be magazines, it can be comics. The main thing is that they are reading regularly and that they are enjoying their reading. That is what we're striving for. Because if they're enjoying reading, they're more likely to read. And if they're more likely to read, they're more likely to be better at reading. Um, something we do insist upon, though, is that they get their um, reading record signed at home. And we do... Um, aim for an absolute minimum of three times a week, although we hope it's actually much more than that. And hopefully that's a combination of perhaps them reading on their own and getting their book signed afterwards. But other times um, you may wish to read with them, question them about the vocabulary, make sure they're understanding the stories that they're choosing and they're following the different plot points and the characters. So yeah, huge, huge emphasis on reading. Um, one of the key drivers to them being successful in primary school and later on in their life is their ability to read and read fluently and read well. So enjoyment, pleasure for reading, that's what we're going for. And as you can see, we've got a big, huge stock of books in class. We will also have uh, library days shortly. So when the library's uh, finished, we'll have to be back on library days again. And as I've said to them, if they have a book from home or a magazine from home or a comic from home that, that they want to read and they want to bring to school, that is also fine. Like I said, the key thing is they're enjoying their reading and doing lots of it. Right, Mr. Wilkinson, I think we'll go outside and talk about some things they need for beach class this year, so follow me. Here's our little cloakroom area, and you can see some more of our artwork. And they are meant to have pumps in school, and as you can see, there's not many pump bags on those hooks at the moment, so they do need pumps. Um, if we end up inside because of the weather or next term when we're doing things like dance and gymnastics, if they don't have pumps, they will be in bare feet. Okay, so please, please, please do bring pumps in and make sure they're kept in school all the time because you never know when that might need them. Um, the other thing that we need coming in is just a plain white shirt. Okay, that is for our science lessons. So whenever we do science, they wear their white shirt, like a scientist lab coat, and as the term goes on, we're going to add lots and lots of scientific vocabulary all over it, on the sleeves, on the back, on the front. That's going to be a constant reminder of lots of the scientific words that we use. So, uh, yeah, science shirts and pumps in school, please. That'd be brilliant. Thank you. Right, back inside. This term. We're doing all about space, now quite a blank wall at the moment, but in a week or two's time that's hopefully going to have lots of your children's um, artwork all over it. So we're doing it based around Van Gogh, so that should be quite fun, hopefully they'll enjoy that. But you can already see here, we've got some examples of books, 
uh, we've got a poster on the window that people have brought in. So if you do have anything at all at home that you think would help our space topic, please bring it in. Uh, the more things we have to look at, the more things we have to read, uh, the better. The children have been brilliant so far. They seem to be really interested in asking lots of really scientific, interesting questions. So anything at all that we can do to help them learn more about this uh, fascinating topic is uh, all good by me. So that's this term. And the next term, we move on to studying a, a two half term study of World War II. So again, you could be thinking ahead if there's anything you have lying around that would help for that. I don't really think there's too much more to say. I just hope that Beach Class is a really happy classroom for them, that they all feel like they have the opportunity to succeed and do brilliantly well. Um, they've come in really settled. I've been really impressed with how they've come in so far. Um, if you have any questions or any queries about anything, please just get in touch with school and ask. Other than that, um, thank you for watching. I'll see you all later.